What up there, Cyber Friends, the Mitty Man, again, coming at you from Walker's Music. We had another word for the day. Mind you, it has been a day to remember. I did finally finish up the little mini project, and I did post it up on the net. It's at nimbus.com, and um, it's a little Christmas project that I did, and uh, I'm hoping that everybody enjoyed it. You know, matter of fact, uh, it's not really necessary to say I'm, I'm going to put it on SoundCloud. I got uh, an account on with uh, www.soundcloud.com. And uh, I got the music files placed on there as well. Uh, I know I got a couple of them posted, but there's also, it's on my um, Nimbit site where I have uh, my other CD, which is called When the Church Gets Saved. I got it there also, and those that would, I mean, is the uh, if, if you would like to uh, help support the project, you know, or support what's going on in and around Walker's music, it will be appreciated. And those that that, that will, it will be appreciated. Those that don't, you won't be frowned upon, and uh, there will, won't be any problem whatsoever. You can go to SoundCloud and listen to the files and. In fact, I, I will have them where if, if you, even if you want to download the files, if you want to. I mean, I have that available also. But we just like to say that we did get finished, and you know, we thank God for it. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy JT out in Dallas, Texas. Also, Brother Justice and Orange Flavor, Brother AG Praise, and all the other ministers of music that's out there in cyberspace. First of all, tonight, I want to, I want to talk about something that is a very very hot topic these days and time especially when it comes to people that want to continue to do wrong and uh, they want to be justified and the first thing they'll tell you, you used to be politician but now it's just about everybody the first thing people holler with well, judge not that means when you hear that that meaning now they want you to continue to endorse the wrongdoing that they're doing they holler judge not that's one aspect of it. Then on the other, on the flip side of that same coin, you got people that's outside of the church and they want to use that against Christians and call us hypocrite because we judge and talking you now you judge me. Well, I'm going to shed some light on this subject tonight that I hope that it will uh, bring an end to this here assumption that you know Jesus gave you license to continue doing what you're doing to, and you want to holler don't judge. I think I'm going to shoot that. I'm going to blow that out the water tonight. Um, we're going to read. We're going to read the scriptures. We're going to read scriptures. And now, I know that the famous one comes from Matthew 7. But this time, I want to go to St. Luke. Let's go to St. Luke 6 chapter. We're going to start reading at the 37th verse. And this is what it reads. It said, Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with, it shall be measured to you again. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, pull, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye, when thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. For a good tree bring it forth, for a good tree bring it not forth corrupt fruit, neither does a corrupt tree bring it forth good fruit, for every tree is known by his own fruit, for of thorns men do not gather fig, nor of bramble bush to gather their grapes, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring it forth which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bring it forth that which is evil, for for of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Let us stop right there. For the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. 
Let's stop there. May God have a blessing to the hearers, doers, and readers of his holy word. Out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. I keep saying that for a reason, people. Out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. What is I'm saying? What is Jesus saying? Whatever is in you will come out that mouth. Let's go back to what we were speaking of about this judging. And about all people always want to use that. You see, judging, in the, as, as it referred to in the New Testament time, wasn't necessarily referred to this the negative aspect, but it's ex what judgment is is discernment, and God gave us that. The discernment between right and wrong. That's judging. That's judging. Because you are discerning which is right and wrong, and that's a good thing. But see, people want to use that. When he said, out of the abundance of the what? The heart, the mouth will speak. In other words, Yes, he said, judge you not, but he said, you'll know the tree by the fruit. You're not judging me. If I'm lying, that means I'm a liar. How can that, how can that be judged? You call me a liar and then you, when you see me lying. He said, you shall know the tree by the fruit. If I'm stealing, then that make me a role. Come on, people. See, we don't we 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 want to hide behind scripture and then use it for our own benefit. No, 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 no. We got to rightly divide it. Let's do it. Like he said, Jesus said, How can you hypocrite? If you got a bean, he didn't say he didn't say you couldn't get the mote out your brother's eye, but you he that told you you got the first get the bean out your own eye. Then you can see clearly. See, ain't no sense in me being blind and trying to lead you and you blind. But if I happen to receive my sight, then I can lead you. But see, we want to use that judging thing as, a, as an excuse. And we use it as a crutch to continue to do in our, and to stay in our mess. That's what we want to do. And then we holler, you judge. You judge. No, I'm not judging. I'm calling what I see. If I see a peach tree, I call it a peach tree. If peaches on the tree, that's what you are, a peach tree. And he said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Heard people say, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Yes, you did. It was in you. Because if it had not been in you, it wouldn't have come out your mouth. So whatever, he said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So he said, Jesus was saying, see, you know, when next time people get to talking about it, don't judge, don't, no, 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 he didn't say it. You can discern between what's right and wrong. We do it every day. Some people see things wrong. Won't challenge it though, because they wimps. They spiritual wimps. They want to hide behind that. Well, you know, I don't want to upset nobody. Well, you know what? You just upset when it comes to right and wrong. We are supposed to tell the truth, regardless of who it is, me, whatever, whoever. So, what about judging now? Is it still judging now when you see me telling lies and you call me a liar? Is it you judge me? No. And you see me doing all manner of evil and you call me an evil person or you judge me? No. You just, you, 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 you call it like you see it. He said a tree is known, a, fruit, a tree is known by the fruit. So that's dispelled all this stuff about this judging. And then people, he said something in also in this here same scripture and we're going to hurry on and get through with this. He said like give and it shall be given. Press down, shaking together, running over. Sometimes, people, we we can't use God's word sparingly, only when it don't hurt. It's a two-edged sword. It won't only cut what it hits, but it'll cut back. Most of the time, most of the time, Seldom, you know, people, you hear people always saying the will of God will be done in earth. No, seldom the will of God is ever done. People talk about everything that happened. And I, I got to give this credit to Brother Mike Murdoch. I love when he said that. This man I'm talking about, this preacher said that everything that happened is ordered by God. God is in control of everything. That's a lie. God is not in control of everything. 
God is not in control. We that, that's an excuse we use to, to 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 get away from responsibility for our own action. If God is in control, that releases me from all of my actions. That releases me from everything I do called why? God is in control. That's a lie. I blame God for that. But Jesus said, good measure. So when we're trying to do good, evil is ever present, people. Even when you do your best, evil is still ever present. And I must hurry on, time is far gone. But yet and still, we must do what's right. See, that's the time when it when it really gets rough. It really gets rough. Because you have to do even in the midst. Because rarely people will do you like you do them. Rarely. But God said he will make it come from somewhere else. The people that you do the most for, those are the ones that will give you their butt to kiss. Now, I mean, that's just automatic. Don't ever think that the people that you do for are the ones that you're going to get your reward from because rarely it comes from them, but it comes through others. What you make happen for a person or somebody, God will make happen to you, but rarely it's through the same people. But nevertheless, we're human. But we can overcome these things, people, and I'll and I be the first to admit it's not easy. But if we, we stay in the battlefield, we stay in the race, we let God do the perfect work in us, and then we will get to that day in time, in that point in time, where we can say, I did overcome this obstacle. But as long as we're in this body, we're going to continually be trying to overcome something. Because, see, that what keeps us humble. People, if we, could do, if we could do all this ourselves, then Jesus died for nothing. We could take credit. But no one could take this credit because Jesus did the perfect work, and we cannot do it. But as far as this judging thing, we, need to, we can lay off of that now. I think I've said enough about that judgment. Well, it wasn't my word. Jesus been said it, but people just didn't see it. I don't reckon. He told you, you know the tree by the fruit. You're not judging nobody. If I'm lying, that makes me a liar. <laughs> this is the middle man and saying, hey y'all, go and check out the check out the songs and everything. Like I say, I want you to know. I want to know what you think. And uh, I'm gonna put them up, and uh, they're gonna be downloadable from SoundCloud just as soon as I can get everything uploaded and everything and get it set up. So. You know, whether whether anybody want to donate. If you want to donate, fine. If you don't, that's still fine. We're not going to fall out because you don't donate. But if you happen to do, we thank you in, in advance. And this is the Middle Man saying peace and goodbye.